Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a closer look at the Bochat Fossier women's five mil wetsuit. So as I literally just said, this is a five mil wetsuit, which is a good sort of Goldilocks all rounder. It's good for colder waters, but also fairly warm waters, just enough to really keep you nice and warm, keep you nice and insulated for longer dives. And, uh, and yeah, it's that good all rounder of thickness. This is a good balance between warmth and flexibility. Sometimes you get that um, those thicker wetsuits, even five mil wetsuits that feel quite cumbersome, but the neoprene, this is special Alaskan neoprene that allows it to bend and flex so it still moves around. It's quite easy to put on and take off and you can still move around whilst you're wearing it. Uh, it's got lots of little details all over it. Uh, let's take a closer look. So starting off around your neck, you have this gusseted zippered neck. So you have full control over how uh, like tight it is around your neck. And this is the best of both worlds. You have the zipper to really zip it up, keep it nice and, uh, and tight. But if you don't like it too snug around your neck, you can unzip it. But because you have this separate thinner section of neoprene underneath it, it's always creating a seal around your neck. So even if you don't have it zipped up, it's still sealing because on the inside this is glide skin material so that seals against your skin so it, it's creating a seal slowing the water from getting in through the neck so it's still comfortable but effective at the same time moving down around the uh, the shoulders you have this kind of star pattern detailing all over the suit this has two main functions the first one is it looks pretty cool. I quite like the uh, this kind of star field effect, but it's also protecting the neoprene from wear and tear a little bit. On this external uh, sort of layer, it's protecting from the shoulder straps. It's also adding a little bit of grip as well, so the BCD shoulder straps stay in position and don't slide about quite as much as if it's just the, uh, the traditional external lining, which is very nice and soft. It's quite a premium external lining. Um, so yeah, a very nice suit. Moving down the uh, the left arm, the joints are all articulated, so naturally ergonomic, and they allow you to bend because we have this separate section of uh, of neoprene, which you can see has this uh, sort of corrugated patterning to it, so it allows it to uh, to bend, and it's not going to bunch up on the inside of your elbow when you're trying to do stuff. So again, comfortable. Moving down to the arms, so around your, or sorry, around to your cuffs, you have this section here, which is a universal computer holder, as it says, and this is basically a separate section of neoprene that you thread onto the underside of your computer, and then that basically stays attached onto the, uh, the underside of your computer, and it has two sections of Velcro, so that when you place the dive computer onto that, it holds it in position, means that your computer isn't gonna be sliding up or down or around your wrist, it's always gonna stay in the right position. Makes it a little bit easier to put your dive computer on as well and do the buckle up single-handedly. Um, it is just very useful and it means that your dive computer is more likely to stay exactly where you want it to and not slide off your wrist during the dive. Right next to that you have a zipper. So this is because you have two separate sections of, uh, of neoprene. You have this internal sleeve that connects to the rest of the sleeve and then this external section of neoprene. On this internal bit you have glide skin on the outside. So if you're wearing neoprene gloves they usually have this glide skin material on the inside so that will then seal against this external and create a more effective seal. And then you put this section of the neoprene over the top of your gloves and they're both all working together to really slow that water down before it actually reaches you. On the right hand side, um, you don't have that watch uh, retainer, but you do have this little um, uh, sort of hologram, which is kind of cool. Uh, and on the underside, it actually um, sort of says the uh, the size. So if if you and someone else has the same suit, you can quite quickly and easily tell whose is whose. Um, it tells you the five mil because there is a, a thicker version of this, uh, the size, and that it's a thermal class C, which is pretty good for a, a five mil wetsuit. Moving down underneath the arms, you'll see that the armpit has a big open panel and it's more of this corrugated neoprene. So again, it's not bunching up under your arms, but there's no um, there's no stitch seam straight under your arm to get uncomfortable. It's either side. And this is all blind stitch um, uh, stitching, blind stitch 
doesn't go all the way through the neoprene. It only goes halfway and then doubles back on itself. So it's still binding the two sections of neoprene together, but it's not creating a, uh, a pinhole channel for the water to go straight through the neoprene. So it's better for colder water diving. And you have that throughout most of this suit uh, to yeah keep all the panels together, but slow the water from getting into the suit. Big open panels, ergonomically shaped so it's a bit more comfortable and a decent amount of stretch in it despite being a 5mm so you can still bend, move around to get in and out of the suit quite easily. Moving down towards the hips, on your right hand hip you have a tiny little D-ring. So this is for a hood. A lot of hoods nowadays they have a, uh, a little clip on the uh, on the back of the, the neck so you can clip it off onto this before the dive when you're getting kitted up or after the dive you take your hood off, clip it off onto that and that way it just frees up your hands to do everything else that you have to do but it's still attached to you so it's not going anywhere. If you don't want to use that, you can tuck it away. There's a little pocket underneath it, so you can tuck it away and it's not gonna catch on anything during the dive. Down the suit, we get to the knees. So the knees have this Super Trex external lining as opposed to the traditional lining. This is a bit tougher, a bit more abrasion resistant. So if you're doing any skills on the bottom or uh, sort of doing anything, it's gonna protect your, your knees of the wetsuits. So they're gonna last a lot longer. And then down around the, uh, the ankles, you have more of this star field effect for sea comfort and a big long zipper. Um, and then an internal sleeve, very much like the cuffs on, the, uh, on your wrist. So with your boots again it's going to seal effectively against that and then you have this external layer that will go over your boots and, uh, and zip it down so it holds it all together and really slows the water down. Turning the suit over and looking at the back <clears throat> starting up around the neck we have a velcro closure so this again is helping you adjust just how tight it is around your neck but this is that new neoprene that doesn't scratch quite as much uh correction the um uh, new velcro that doesn't scratch quite as much so it's a bit more comfortable and um, the the edges are a bit scratchy but the main section isn't too bad and then underneath that you have what really makes the fascia different from a lot of wetsuits um, not just that it has a big metal zipper uh, with a decent leash so you can get in and out of the suit by itself but but underneath that zipper, you have this water dam system. So it's not unusual for wetsuits to have a section of neoprene that goes underneath that zipper. We call that a flush guard, it's, uh, it's not unusual. But this one, it's, um, it's actually raised. And these interlock with one another and they basically create a, a more effective seal. They've actually got a video on their website where they show how effective it is. They filled a wetsuit up with water, zipped it up and then held it upside down. And it takes a really long time for that water to migrate out because of these interlocking sections of neoprene. So very effective, slowing the water down before it gets straight through that zipper and straight down to your back. On the inside, you can see this bright orange fire skin material. This internal lining is, it's kind of like microfiber towels. It's very absorbent. And that's exactly what you want for an internal lining. You want it to absorb any water and then hold it in position, let your body warm that water up and doesn't allow it to migrate around the suit because any migrating water is what's going to get you cold. Um, but if it's holding it in place, it's going to keep you warm. So that's exactly what that internal lining is doing. Uh, on the back, more of this starfield effect, and then down uh, underneath your uh, your sort of armpits, going down around towards your kidneys, uh, you have more of this corrugated section. Uh, this is where it uh, it's breaks down the different types of Alaskan. Um, so that's the type of neoprene. Around the uh, the kidneys and around uh, the bigger panels where it needs to keep you warm is this 8.8. .8, so it's a bit more compression resistant. But where you need the flexibility, like up and around your shoulders, you have 6.8. So the different types of neoprene just allow for more flexibility. They're, they're trading off the, the compression resistance against the flexibility in certain areas. So it's flexible where it needs to be but it's warm where it needs to be and that's why we have all these separate panels same thickness just different blend of neoprene moving down towards the seat you have this reinforced section this patterning um, just over your bum and this is there to give you grip when you're sitting down on anything when it's wet it gives it a bit more purchase so if you're trying to sit on the the side of a rib on the tender 
and that's and that's wet it's going to help really plant you and hold you in position so you're not going to be sliding around on the rib as it moves uh, it gives you a bit more um, sort of traction when you're actually sitting down and then in the back of the knees again more of this corrugated neoprene so it allows it to bend and flex as you need it to and there we have the Bochat Fasia women's 5mm wetsuit a good premium feeling wetsuit um, it, it feels in that sort of upper echelon of neoprene decent amount of flex so you can move around in it but again it's 5mm so it's going to keep you nice and warm it's, it's really the, the best of both worlds and it's a very practical wetsuit as well with that uh, sort of computer holder I do like that feature to hold your computer in position though it's not slipping around um yeah i can't fault it lovely wetsuit definitely worth checking out there's going to be more information on our website simply scuba.com just click on the link down in the description below so you can check it out read up on it and then buy it from us at simply scuba thank you for watching everybody and of course safe diving mm -hmm.